Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Mago from EasyDMark and today we're going to discuss about SPF which stands for Standard Policy Framework and its core limitation, 10 DNS lookups and how to fix and overcome it. At first, let's start with the history of SPF. The very first email authentication protocols introduced in the early 2000s. SPF was created with a simple yet crucial goal. To authorize all the IP addresses that are used to send out emails on your domain behalf. But like many solutions, SPF isn't without its limitation. And one of the main limitations is the 10 DNS lookup. This limit was put in place to avoid denial of service or DDoS attacks, ensuring that the DNS servers aren't overwhelmed by too many requests. While this is a crucial security measure, it can break your SPF record. The core functionality of SPF is to provide admins with the flexibility to authorize IP addresses in their DNS zone with the help of various mechanisms such as IP4, IP6 and INCLUDE. The INCLUDE mechanism is the most commonly used, especially when you need to authorize third-party sources like Google, Microsoft and Zendesk to send emails on your domain behalf. While this mechanism is effective, each INCLUDE counts as a DNS lookup. And as many organizations tend to use multiple email sources to send out emails, it is so easy for them to bypass this limitation and generate SPF failures. Now, as we have discussed about SPF functionality and its limitation, it's time to identify whether you have this problem or not. With the help of our free SPF Checker solution, you can easily verify if you have exceeded the 10 DNS lookup limitation or if you have any other underlying issues with your SPF, such as void lookups or syntax issues with just a few clicks. If you have encountered the 10 DNS lookup issue, you might be wondering how to resolve it. The solution is SPF flattening, a technique where hosts specified by include mechanisms are replaced with their corresponding IP addresses. For example, instead of using include to list all the Google servers, you will explicitly add Google IP addresses in your SPF record. This will fix the problem as IP addresses don't count as a lookup space. However, when this process is done manually, there are potential issues to consider, such as DNS character limitation, a potential human errors when manually performing this action, and the critical issues where updates from the third party site will not automatically reflect in your SPF record. To solve these challenges, we introduced a dynamic SPF lightning solution called Easy SPF. Easy SPF automates the conversion of hosts into IP addresses, eliminating any human prone errors and also ensuring your records comply with DNS character limit. Also, it constantly monitors for any changes and updates to the third party's IP addresses and automatically adjusts your SPF records. Additionally, Easy SPF offers complete visibility into your SPF configurations. You can easily view all the email sources that are authorized to send emails on your domain behalf and gain insights into your overall email ecosystem.
wrap up, this covers everything you need to know about the 10 DNS lookup limitation and our solution. Just keep in mind that it's crucial to always monitor your SPF record and remove any sources that are no longer in use within your organization to maintain a clean SPF record. If you have any question, feel free to reach us out at EasyDMark.